So the next feature which I am going to talk about is BPDU filter and also BPDU guard as a matter of fact. Let's just speak about BPDU guard first and then get to BPDU filter. Both of these are going to stop malicious uh, change in my network. Let's say that my network is this part of the network as you can see and I have some switches here and I have decided that switch one is going to be my root bridge. So based on this and some kind of changes that I have made on switch one, I made sure that switch one has a low priority. Other switches are going to receive BPDU from switch one and they are not going to generate any more BPDUs. They are just going to forward the BPDUs to each other. And by forwarding these BPDUs to each other, they will calculate a uh, topology in their network, which port is going to be the root port, which core port is going to be the designated port, and which port they are going to block. So let's say that a malicious user has connected a switch or some kind of a device that emulates switch uh, like a laptop for example to the network to one of these access ports in my network and it is starts uh, listening to BPDUs and it will understand that the BPDU has a priority which it can just kind of um, kind of um, I, I don't know uh, what to say it is going to generate some BPDU which is going to uh, defeat the original BPDU in the network. What is going to happen? Switch 9 is going to generate BPDUs which are superior and it is going to send this BPDUs to switch 3. Switch 3 it is, is, is going to listen to this BPDU and it will see that this BPDU is okay and this BPDU is superior and it is no longer receiving the BPDUs from switch 1 from any of these ports. So what is going to happen is switch 3 is going to generate a message which is called topology change notification message. It will send this TCN message to all switches which will tell them that there is a new source of BPDU, a higher BPDU, a superior BPDU and all of you should start recalculating the topology in the network. And then the network is going to be disturbed and then um, it is going to be uh, brought down. Uh, the network is no longer working properly as a matter of fact. So what I need to do is to make sure that these access points which are kind of exposed to malicious user, they are kind of protected using some features like BPDU guard uh, or BPDU guard or BPDU filter. So BPDU guard says that I will check the port if there is any BPDU on this port I will block and uh, disable this port. BPDU filter will say that I will check this port and if there is any BPDU I will filter it. The port is still up and running but the BPDUs are going to be filtered. And this is very essential to my network because sometime uh, I just want this part of the network to work um, whether or not it sends some BPDUs to my network. I'm going to remove all those BPDUs and let the uh, network run. So let's do this. I'm going to go to switch 9 right now. It has connected to my network and if I go to switch 9 and check the spanning tree it will say that switch 1 is the root bridge. I'll, as you can see the priority right now is 4096 plus number 1 which is the VLAN number that uh, equals to 4097. So I'm going to go to switch 3 and switch 3 first of all I want to see which port is connected to uh, switch 9 which says Ethernet 2.0. Uh, like I said all those access ports are going to have this command on them but right now I'm just going to do it is on Ethernet 2.0. So what I'm going to do is to first of all show interface Ethernet 2.0 and it says that uh, it says that the interface is up and up. It is connected and it works just fine. So what I'm going to do is to go to interface Ethernet 2.0 and I am going to type spanning tree uh, and on different platforms that this command is a little different. Some platforms say spanning tree BPDU guard like mine. Some platforms say spanning tree port fast BPDU guard uh, whatever mine is BPDU guard and I have enable and disable on my platform as you can see I just type enable 
and hit enter. So, if I show interface Ethernet to zero, right now there is no problem. The interface is connected and it works just fine. Let's go to switch nine and try to change the priority on switch nine and try to make switch nine to believe that it's uh, it is uh, going to be the root bridge. So what I'm going to do is to go here. And I'm going to type spanning tree. I'm going to do this for VLAN 1 as a matter of fact, not all the VLANs. And I'm going to set the priority to 0, which is the lowest priority, uh, which means, of course, the highest priority in my case, because in switching, the lower numbers are better. In routing, the higher numbers are better. This is uh, a rule that you need to know. So I hit Enter. And as soon as I do this, let's see what happened on switch 3. It says that BPDU guard kicked in because it received a BPDU from uh, switch 3 on port Ethernet 2.2 and now the port is in error disabled state. So how can I, um, you know, recover this port? There are two ways. First of all, I need to shut this port and then type no shut and this interface is going to come up and of course it is going to be error disabled again because it is still receives the BPDUs from switch 9. Uh, there is another way that you need to do it in global configuration and that is this error disable recovery timeout or interval. Recovery interval the least uh, amount is 30 seconds I'm going to kind of figure this and this means that if you do not touch this interface this interface is in error disabled state it will uh, come up again after 30 seconds but again because switch 3 is receiving this BPDU from switch 9 again it is going to put this interface in uh, error disabled state so let's say that I don't want this interface to go error disable state. I'm going to filter the VPDUs, but I'm not going to uh, error disable this. So what I'm going to do is to go to interface Ethernet 2.0 and I am going to type spanning tree VPDU and uh, this time filter. And you can see I'm going to type this enable and I'm going to disable this uh, BPDU guard. I don't want this BPDU guard to be here. And right now I have no worry about the uh, problems because right now the interface is down. If I show interface Ethernet to zero, you can see that it says it is error disabled. So I need to wait for this uh, recovery interval to finish and it starts uh, forwarding again or I can just shut and no shut the interface. But in any case, what is going to happen is this. The interface is not going to be error disabled anymore, but it will not forward any BPDU that it receives from this access interface, which is connected to uh, switch 9. Let's see if uh, the interface is up right now. Not yet. It is down. I need to wait for some seconds, and after that, the recovery is going to be in action, and it will... Um, start the interface so I just type uh, the first line is important for me so it says uh, line protocol it says it is still down I need to wait for 30 seconds and after that time the error disabled message should go away and or you can just just shut and no shut the interface, which I'm going to do this as a matter of fact because I don't, I really don't want to wait for that. And I just type no shut the interface, and you see that after some time the interface is going to come up, and there is no error disabled message because the VPD filter is working. And uh, if I try to show spanning tree, I can still see that switch one is the root bridge, which means that switch 3 doesn't care about switch 9's uh, BPDUs although uh, switch 9 believes that it is uh, the root bridge as you can see it says that the address is AABBCC006000 which is its own address uh, because it you know uh, kind of has a lower priority but other switches in the network don't care about this as you can see, Switch 3 doesn't care about that because BPDU filter is not allowing this BPDU in. And if I go to Switch 4, I will not see any change. So I just type show spanning tree. 
as you can see again it says that switch one is uh, my root port. So, BPDU guard and BPDU filter, both of them are going to protect our network from uh, malicious BPDUs and it, uh, they will stop uh, the switch from creating a TCN uh, but BPDU guard is going to air disable the interface, BPDU filter is not going to air disable the interface the interface is going to work and continue working as a matter of fact because again show interface Ethernet to zero and you can see that it is up and working um, you can still see the forwarding happening on these interfaces but the BPDUs are going to be filtered